Oh, okay, kiddo, this isn't really much of a video to show you it. To be honest with you, it's more, um... Uh, for people like me that didn't really clue in that um, it's really important to use the proper primer and all that stuff. Actually, I should put it over here. Hold on. Maybe I'll just zoom out a little bit because there's nothing really to see. It's just that I guess I've just wanted to see something. Um, so I've been using, and I have not been, I, I haven't done a model, oh my gosh, in decades. Um, it was like some kind of mech thing, probably back like in the early 2000s or whatever. Anyways, and for the remainder of the time of me painting, it's just been miniatures. And I've been, for the past few years, um, I went away from um, a spray can stuff and went into uh, using just the airbrush um, surface primer here from Vallejo. And I, yeah, I've just been brushing it on, have not been using an airbrush whatsoever. Uh, the uh, the um, the person at the uh, hobby local hobby store she said oh yeah no problem you can use it and it was working fine and it was wonderful I just love the actual uh, just total uh, control over how much thickness I could use and so on and so forth didn't have to worry about the wind and smell and a zillion other things it was just fantastic and it still is however I think I've been getting away with murder or getting away with not noticing mistakes or possibilities anyways this is old. So when I went to try this, because all I wanted to do is get into priming, uh, uh, using an air, which is, I just found out this is not an air gun, it's just an air, uh, sorry, an air it's not an airbrush, it's an air gun. And um, so I went, I was like, well, I'm going to just use this for priming. And I went to go practice on paper, which I did, and thank goodness I did. And it was spitting all over the place. And I went, oh, it's probably just because, well, a combination, I didn't mix this stuff enough. And I went and diluted it. I didn't use it undiluted because it's it's so watery to begin with. It doesn't even mention to, to, to dilute it. But I diluted it anyways and I thought, you know what, maybe I should strain it because it's really old and it's probably not, um, and that's probably what it was anyways. So I, went and I purchased a brand new bottle of it. And while I was there, just in case, or did I not? I'm not sure if I did, but anyways, I think I, so I bought a brand new one. Still having, still was having some issues and wasn't really happy. So I was uh, watched a few videos on. Um, yeah, this is just what I'm just starting to work on here. Um, a Spad Eight. Um, just finished gluing the little tiddly bits, but uh, and this is why I'm gonna why I mentioned. Like I said, I just started early days here. Um, where's the can? It's over there. So I started watching some videos and then, um, as you can see here, what a difference. I'm sorry, but it's just remarkable. And so I, I think I was never noticing, like I said, with the miniatures, I just wasn't noticing with a large surface here. I wasn't, and I was only doing essentially lately with that stuff, uh, 15 millimeter and lower, nothing big. So I was never noticing. I wasn't doing like a 28 millimeter giant or anything. Um, it wasn't, no so surface area, I wasn't perhaps noticing it. Oh, this just looks amazing. Oh, you can't see it. Kind of did both well, a little bit, but anyways. So I watched some videos and noticed the difference. Uh, I think I was watching an Umbral uh, video on their primer and so on and so forth. And I was just like, wow, what a quality difference. So I went to the hobby store again um, to purchase, um, to look around. And I wanted to, well, I'm just, I've got um, uh, Ottoman airplane on, the, on my mind, on my brain. Anyway, so I picked up this stuff and... I, it was just, it was nice to see, and I watched a video and, you know, yet again, like just, you know, maybe do a light spray, let it bite, and then try again, and so on and so forth. All I got to say is when I put on this, started to put on the, uh, the, the Sable Brown here for the propeller, it went on, I, I had to do a double take, I went and took a look at this, uh, this old, and it's old, so I had to even use water to, um, to redo this one thing about it's not as good you know it's not as good quality as the other stuff but the the, the economy difference is just massive uh, anyways um i was like is this the same paint it just like clinged immediately it was just incredible of course i'm still having issues with certain deco art paints like this um you know i mean um considering doing a french plane so i was like okay anything i can find that's got a french related word but i may go belgian um <clears throat> Like these type of colors, I find uh, extremely watery, and the pigment doesn't really want to um, kind of stay properly in solution or whatever. Anyways, I find I still had to do multiple coats with this. That's why I cheat often, and I'll do a uh, like you can still see a little bit of brown there. It doesn't matter. I'll just say it's dirt. Um, 
is that uh, I usually do, I cheat, I'll do a base coat of a, a color that's similar to that, but uh, adheres to the, the, you know, to it better. That's it. All I just wanted to say was uh, for people like me that wasn't, are not really sure about, um, uh, yeah, do it properly, I, I guess is what to say is uh, start with a proper foundation and go from there because I'm just absolutely stunned. Okay, I think that's it. Was there anything else I did want to chat about? I showed that, I showed that. Darn it, I know there's probably something. I was like, okay, Chris, you're missing. You did want to mention one thing, but I know. Okay, that's it. All right, hope you're having a great time. See you later.